In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a menu nav, kind of like this one, on your Notion website. So we're actually gonna build this in this little video. Uh, this is actually the Potion website, potion.so. This is how you make all this possible. Um, but you can see it has this nice little nav at the top and it sticks to the top and you can even have like a, a little call to action button. And so you can jump around and you can see how this works. And it's even mobile friendly. So, you know, if someone's looking on a phone, it then creates this little button here and then you have the different nav there. So it works for mobile as well. So let's jump in and show you how to make this. So I actually went in and created a duplicate potion website. So I just jumped in here. It's, you know, it looks really similar, um, but it doesn't have all the styling and stuff. So you're gonna go to the live editor and so then this will populate. This is um, what this duplicate looks like. And actually I have it live over here. So it doesn't have all the styling as my actual potion website, but that's fine. We're just focusing on the menu for right now. And so what you'll do is at the top here, you'll say use custom menu. And so it auto automatically generates a custom menu from, um, basically it takes the top pages that are shown in this main page and it will just try to add those to the top. Now there is a limitation where you can only have five pages um, linked um, and then you know you have one call to action which shows in the top right. So let's create this, make this look like what we want. So we can actually drag these around and you'll see as I drag these, it will, it will change the order of the pages here of those buttons. Um, and I can actually add some new ones. It pulls these from any of the pages in your Notion website will be here. So you can kind of look through and see any of the names of your pages on your website um, and add those. So I wanna actually remove the roadmap. I wanna remove wall of love. I want showcase to be first. And then I want the template because I have that. And then I think guides is the other page I want. So let's move pricing down. So then it looks like that. And uh, we can just click save just to make sure we have it saved. And then, you know, if you go to your actual website, it takes a moment, um, but it should just pop up here, boom, like that. <clears throat> and so now you can see we have our menu nav up there. Um, so the other thing you can do, and, and also this is like a, a live preview here, of course. I can make that sticky, so now it's a sticky header. I can add a shadow, so just some, some changes you can make there. Um, you can change the color, make it make it look kind of funny. Let's, um, let's just make it kind of look like our purple, um, so it kind of sticks out a little bit more than my actual website does. Um, we can even make these white if we want, but that probably doesn't work very well. Let's just do that, that, that looks fine. And then let's add our button here. So sign up and then you can put in a link. This could be a link that just goes to one of your other po your other website pages on your Potion site. Or like I do, you could send it to another site like that. And then let's make this background color also be kind of like a, a purple. You can change the color of the font as well. Click save. You always have to click save for it to actually go to your website, even though you might see the, the preview here. Um, you also see when you, you can actually click on these pages to see kind of a, a, a preview of what it kind of looks like. Um, but yeah, so basically we've created this. And now if I go back over here, just wait one moment and it will refresh and boom, here's our menu. We got the sign up button, we've got these pages. We can now jump around to see what this looks like. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like you're kind of just editing this menu, kind of a no code builder for, for changing this menu. And uh, yeah, some different font styles and things. You know, you could always go in to snippet injection um, here and actually update some of the CSS to even make it more custom if you want for your header. But right now, these are the options we have for um, the styling of this menu, and we'll probably be adding some more in the future. But hopefully this is like a really easy, quick way to make a, a nav menu for your Notion website. And if you have any questions, always reach out in the live chat on potion.so. Thanks.